Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be going over how you can play Genshin Impact on your phone with a controller. Before we get any further into the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe so we can keep making cool tips and tricks videos like this. And now let's get right into it. So the first thing you need is a controller mapping tool for this to work on your Android phone. So you can use either Mantis Gamepad Pro, you can type that in in the Play Store and look for that and set it up right there, or Razer's Virtual Controller, you can Google that. Now once you have this downloaded, you're ready to hop into the game. So you'll need to open up the game, you'll need to watch the cutscene and complete Paymon's tutorial if you haven't already. Now tap the Paymon menu, which is found on the top left corner of the gameplay screen next to the minimap. Then tap the gear icon to open the settings menu, and now you can choose controls. Then put the controller into pairing mode if it uses Bluetooth, so if you have one of these Bluetooth attachments for your phone or just Bluetooth controller. Tap control type and then select controller in the drop down menu. Later you can always go back into the controls menu to adjust the camera sensitivity or possibly the Y axis and X axis sensitivity. So yeah, that's how you can connect your controller to your Android phone to play Genshin Impact. So this is quite useful and will give you a bit of an advantage if you're used to playing to, on controller, then this will help you out a lot. If you don't have access to a PC, for example, and you or a PS5 or a Xbox, this is a really good alternative if you can only play on your phone, but you wanna play on controller and you're used to playing on controller, then you can do this right here. I hope this helped you out. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if it did and comment down below if you have any more questions. I'll see you in the next one.